Well, the guitar that started my obsession with Jim Root is finally in my possession. Let's get into it, boys. Right, guys what's going on welcome back today is going to be a lot a lot of fun man today we are going to finally demo the Jim Root Fender Telecaster the history with this guitar is Jim Root was always always fascinated with Fender guitars and Charvel guitars growing up and then starting around I would say the volume 3 era that's when Jim Root started to use Charvel and Fender guitars you've seen on stage with a couple black tellies and strats and Charvel guitars most notably seen during the before I forget video he had a nice Charvel guitar there and so now easy to say in hindsight but you could kind of tell during the volume 3 era that Jim Root was soon going to become a Fender artist flash forward to 2007 during the audio secrecy era of Jim Root's career he showed up on stage with a signature black Telecaster it is known in the Slipknot and guitar community that Jim Root actually owns the very first one and I do believe he only has one with the ebony board I have seen him use a Fender Tele with a maple board and he used that for like a lot of drop a stuff during like download in particular I think he used his drop a with the maple board I think the one with the ebony board is his quote baby and the first one and only one that he has it's been on every single record that he's done he's had it on every single tour that he's done and he's often thinking about retiring it because he doesn't want to lose the mojo and have that guitar nerd stuff where he breaks it, breaks the neck, breaks the body, whatever, and then it doesn't have that all original mystique to it. But he loves having it with this nice matte finish and then trying to see how much he can wear it and get it broken in and make it look as relic as possible. Flash forward to today's video, I have a copy of one of these bad boys guitars. Now I voted several times on my Instagram account of which guitar would you like to see on this channel. I've had so many, so many people even before those two posts on Instagram, they said they wanted to see a Jim Root Telly on my channel. And man, <laughs> you gotta give the subscribers and the followers what they want, right? So I finally have it here today and we're about to check it out in a song right now. For this song in drop B, cause Slipknot's in drop B almost 99% of the time, gotta do that. Using the Fortin NTS and Bias Effects for the guitar tones, Bass Forge Hellraiser is the bass and Superior Drummer is the drums. When we come back, we'll talk about the positives and the negatives of the Jim Root Tele and my overall summary of Jim Root's first signature guitar. Without further ado guys, here's the song.
All right, boys, so that's the telly, right? So let's talk about the negatives first with this guitar. The first negative is it's not an American guitar. It's made in Mexico, it's a Mexican telly. So, but does that even really matter? I know like it goes on the record saying like non-American stuff is not made as well, but it could just be a label, man. Like it, it made in Mexico could have no difference down the road. And I think Jim Root's Telecaster even is made in Mexico, but I'm not entirely sure on that, but so don't quote me, but it feels just like the American made Stratocasters, which segues right on into the positives. First positive with this guitar, fretboard inlays. Again, I've said it on several different videos, man. I like having fretboard markers. I, I know it's rather egotistical of people to be like, oh, I play with no fretboard markers. I don't need the look, and I get that. But man, if it's there, why not have it? With the Telecaster, I like that nice little, just a dot, a speck on the fretboard. That's a huge, huge positive for me personally. Another positive is the finish and the color. The white looks absolutely killer, man. It's gonna wear in nice, nice and good, and it's gonna get nice and banged up, just like my strats have been doing over the past year. I can't wait to have this thing for a long, long time and relic it myself after years and years of playing it. So I'm really excited with how how thin and how sleek and smooth the white finish is on this guitar. Another positive with this guitar is that yes, it screams Jim Root and it's Jim Root's signature guitar, as I said with the unboxing, but one thing about all his guitars is it's not super flamboyant flashy. I'll give you an example. The Willie Adler LTD version of his signature guitar, the single cut. Nothing against Willie Adler, nothing against Lamb of God. Love those guys so much, but when you have the, the Warbird and it looks like a Lamb of God album cover on your actual signature guitar, that like really limits the guitar player because it's like you're waving the flag of yourself and your band. You're promoting it. It's a big giant billboard. But with Jim Root stuff, it's so plain and simple and just bare bones that it's like it's not a nice nod to players who want to use their stuff where it's not like you're waving the Slipknot flag around. You know what I mean? Like I, I like that about Jim Root stuff. I really, really do. It's a nice, nice homage to the fans that are playing his guitars, like saying, hey, here's my signature stuff, but it's gonna wear in like the way you want it and how you play it and it's not a Slipknot banner. And one final positive, man, this thing is a metal, metal dad rock guitar. Telecasters and Stratocasters and Jazzmasters and even Meteoras, which I hope to God Jim Root gets a signature model with Fender with that bad boy. That's a whole nother video. But locking tuners, EMGs, string through body, one volume knob, like that is just so metal and so, so anti-Fender, but it's so cool that Jim Root breaks the rules and uses dad rock guitars and turns them into metal machines. And I love that. I'm obsessed with Fender. The Fender Strat was the first guitar that I became obsessed with and Jim Root, although I don't know him and I can't speak on his behalf, but I think he has a similar obsession with Fender and yet he's tweaked it to now people like myself can use it for metal applications. So what'd you guys think of the song? What'd you think of the guitar? Leave it all down below in the comments of this video. Be on the lookout for my new EP, which will be dropping February 4th. I'm gonna do another giveaway on Patreon, just like I did for Christmas time, as a way to say thank you for you guys. And that EP will be on my Patreon early for you guys only. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please, please hit that subscribe button. I'd really, really appreciate it, guys. Again, leave all your thoughts and comments down below on the Fender Telly. As always, dudes, I'm out of here. Stay metal, and I'll see you guys next time.